Victorious McGregor is an Irish mixed martial arts fighter, UFC featherweight champion, and a lightning rod for controversy. McGregor's fiery attitude outside of the ring can psychologically break his opponent down, but his skills do all the talking while inside the octagon. Despite being in the national spotlight, there's still some little known facts about Conor McGregor. In 2013, he was on welfare. One week before his first UFC fight against opponent Marcus Brimage, he collected a welfare check for 186 euros, which was roughly 235 bucks. After winning the fight, he collected a check for $60,000 as a bonus for achieving fight of the night. When asked what he would spend the money on, he responded, a nice car and some custom-made suits. He went from rags to riches with one brutal knockout. Connor's charismatic attitude and pre-fight trash-talking draw a lot of comparisons between himself and the great Muhammad Ali, although he doesn't think he should be compared to the legendary fighter. That won't stop him from paying tribute to him from time to time. McGregor appeared on the cover of UFC magazine behind a pile of money in front of a bank vault. To some, it seemed like merely a flamboyant flaunting of his prize money. But in actuality, it was an homage to a Sports Illustrated cover of Ali posing in the exact same way, an awesome tribute to a phenomenal boxer. As a child growing up in Dublin, Connor was tormented by bullies on a daily basis. He was tiny compared to his other classmates. When he walked home from school, he would come up with plans in his head for what to do when other kids tried to pick on him. At one point in his adolescence, he carried a handheld barbell in his backpack for self-defense. He said, I had a face bullies liked beating up. He also said the only reason he started training in combat sports was to learn how to defend himself. This would ultimately lead to his aspiration of becoming a professional fighter. Connor has a sister named Erin McGregor, who also has a passion for fitness and training. She is a champion in competitive bodybuilding. Erin stated that after joining the bodybuilding scene, she grew closer to her brother, as they bonded over their strict diets and intense training regimens. When she first got into the muscle sculpting, she was naive as to how much work and dedication really went into staying at peak physical condition. She remembers telling her mother that she now fully understood how hard Connor works. Most believe that his UFC championship fight against Jose Aldo was the fastest knockout of his career. Connor did end the fight in less than 13 seconds, but it wasn't his fastest knockout performance. His speediest win was at the Immortal Fighting Championship of April 2011, where he fought Patty Doherty. The bout only lasted four seconds. Connor's opponent went down after a vicious right hook, and the fight was over. Connor is not only known for his championship record, but he's also considered a fashion icon. His tailor-made suits allow him to stand out in a crowd of brawlers that are usually seen wearing tank tops and sweatpants. From his well-groomed hairstyles to his swanky sock selection, Connor is a person who loves to dress well. And people started to take notice. At Dublin's Peter Mark VIP Style Awards 2014, Connor was voted Ireland's most stylish man. Connor is an outspoken human rights activist. He is a strong advocate for the equality of all people no matter their color, religion, or gender. More specifically, he's a huge supporter of gay marriage. He has been using his social media influence to get the people of Ireland to vote in favor of passing laws that allow it. When Ireland legalized gay marriage in May of 2015, he sent out a tweet expressing his happiness, calling it a great time to be Irish and proud. The president of the UFC, Dana White, heard about Conor McGregor from dozens of people while visiting Dublin. During meet and greets, fans would tell Dana about a mysterious unknown fighter that was blowing up in the underground MMA scene. From the stories he had heard, Dana was convinced. He flew Conor out to the US for a personal meeting, which involved a night on the Las Vegas Strip in a Ferrari. After the meeting, Dana was so confident in Conor's abilities that he signed him to a five-fight contract in the UFC without ever seeing him fight. Lots of athletes throughout the ages tend to follow superstitious rituals before they are about to compete. Professional boxers are known to abstain from sex for days, weeks, and even months leading up to a big fight, because many of them feel as though it zaps them of their energy. Connor doesn't believe in these kinds of superstitions, as he sees it as a form of fear. And as a matter of fact, he often goes on record to say that he has a lot of sex before each fight. To put it in his words, that is most certainly a superstition that I do not abide by. I definitely have as much sex as possible. 
Connor is known as a finisher. Out of his 19 wins, 17 of them have been knockouts. There was one fight where he didn't win by a KO. In the middle of that fight, he tore his ACL, an important ligament of the knee joint. Miraculously, he still won the fight by judge decision. In the 2013 bout against Max Holloway, midway through the fight, he said he heard a big pop and let out a scream. When he stood back up, he was unsteady and wobbly, but continued on for the duration of the fight, risking further injury. The Celtic Tiger definitely earned his spot among the...